Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Profit Data. Today, exactly, I'm gonna talk about uh, you know Kite Connect module. Okay, as you know, Kite Connect 3.0 has been released. Okay, and uh, you know there will be a new installation process, and there is a like you know so, so many things has been added as I've been already discussed in my previous video. So today, exactly, I'm gonna talk about all those stuffs, you know, modules which exactly functions are there. Okay, so exactly I'm gonna uh, show you in real time how exactly can we can perform the operations with the help of this one by one. Okay, so exactly first we will, uh, you know, uh, like you know, generating uh, session. Then exactly, uh, you know, going all those steps. I'm gonna go step by step. Okay, so first of all we will, uh, you know, go with the installation process. Okay, so I've been lined up where exactly my Python has been. Uh, interpreter has been stored okay so it is like i've been cd i've been went to python uh, 36 which is like 3.6 my python is 3.6 and this is my python library okay so exactly i will first of all i will get over there with my python library okay so these are all the uh, you know documents and examples cat connect test each and everything will be there okay uh, say this is the login process say this is the installation process we should uh, first of all I'll go with this one then exactly I will show you how we can place the order okay then next is like I will show you web socket users they have been changed some uh, you know something they have been done with this process so exactly we will perform on this uh, you know tick price and all streaming price we will definitely wanna get and we will perform all those operations required for our automation stuffs all those things okay so first of all I will go with this like you know, installation process so as you can see if you go with the installation process it is like pip install kite connect which we have to upgrade and pre okay so i've been already my uh, kite connect uh, module is there okay so i am gonna replace with another module first of all i will uh, you know i will just show you exactly uh, by going this uh, to this c folder okay and uh, by getting this python 36 with my you know if I talk about this uh, library stuff okay so I've been installed so many things okay so I will go with this site packages which I will uh, like you know go so it should get replaced with this kite connect exactly so we will gonna see this stuff okay and uh, this is exactly this kite connect is there so I've been already using this in this virtual environment basically now I'm gonna replace this one okay so this is basically a older stuff which i'm gonna replace so this is like you know very much uh, simple stuff is already there okay so as you can see this is a previous one okay so this is like you know request access token which have been replaced with generate session okay so as you can see in this uh, we can see as if you want to generate uh, this you know uh, access token you need to say about this that you know generate session with the request token and with the api secret okay so I, I'm gonna do all those stuff okay so let's get started with this one first I will uh, you know install this one so I will follow this one so I will say pip install kite kite connect upgrade 3 okay so let's get started with this one and let's check it out uh, it will gonna upgrade and mainly i will get this uh, kite connect module which i'm gonna see that how exactly it will uh, you know upgrade this stuffs whichever i've been shown to you okay so so as you can see this is like installation process is going on okay so the installation process is going on and yeah successfully everything has been getting installed okay maybe is uh, uninstalling this previous steps and reinstalling all those things okay so it is like i think it is uh, successfully installed okay so i think i got this uh, uh you know this one uh, my 
height connect exactly okay so i will look for it uh, i think if you see the older stuff has been upgraded and if i go with this initial pi dot as i see all those stuffs in this stuff but exactly uh, you know the previous i think the previous thing is also exactly there but has been replaced with this all those stuffs okay so i just configure this one so you can see what i'm trying to do here okay so as you can see uh, each and everything has been upgraded mine now exactly i have to uh, you know fo follow this new stuff exactly uh, how sh how the automation the process began with the new stuff okay so as you can see i've been gone with this one so i got the module exactly so i'm gonna show you step by step how i should you know process i'm not gonna just copy paste exactly i'm just gonna show you how you can perform exactly with the help of this uh, module okay so as you can see my model is this connect okay this is my model which i'm gonna go step by step okay so each and everything in the model has been connected okay so i got like you know before there was no im uh, order now it has been im order is also there okay bracket order and cover order uh, basically in bracket order they have been given with this uh, sl and in cover order may uh, cover order has been also uh, you know they have been made changes which we were gonna see in this stuff okay so you know this is the process where i should generate uh, the session okay uh, and next is like uh, you know if you want to invalidate say suppose uh, if you don't want to process with the access token you can invalidate and if you want to refresh the token and uh, you know renew the token you can go for this stuff okay so everything has been in the module itself so i'm just gonna go uh, with this uh, uh, you know if you invalidate then refresh token with if you you can go with this so you know step by step i will go okay i will show you how i can go with this placing order see there are so many things has been added and we can proceed with stuff okay they only something has been changed like you know order place instead of auto place it is like place order in this kite connect 3.0 okay so you can process this stuffs uh, there are uh, you know uh, uh, what i say is like kite connect json uh, trading and investment api is there which you can perform and can go ahead and can have it uh, so we will gonna perform with this uh, kite connect model and we will go with the step by step process okay with the model with the help of the model okay so here uh, what I say is like my module connect is my module then initialization then we will begin with the process okay so uh, in the last process itself we will uh, you know go with this uh, uh, generating session okay so uh, I already said that I will go with uh, uh, you know one by one process I am gonna explain okay uh, this is all the route okay so first of all i will proceed with the generate session okay so in between i will pause the video but exactly i will show how you can perform okay so first of all say from kite connect okay i think uh, i should change configure here also i will keep it as apply okay so as you can see from kite connect import in capital K kite connect same uh, means like in the older stuff okay so my API key and API secret have been stored